If you've ever ordered your pizza and received it in record time, you probably had it delivered by one of these. Delivery workers on electric bikes, also known as deliveristas. Back in October, Mayor Eric Adams announced that a million dollars in federal funds would be allocated to build three rest stops or charging stations across the city for these e-bikes, including one at this old newsstand at 72nd and Broadway. As long as they don't take up any parking spots. This week, Community Board 7 Transportation and Parks and Environment Committees voted against the proposed hub. Most of the more than 200 speakers on the virtual Zoom call said they don't need more traffic in an already overcrowded intersection. This is a major transit area. You know, if you can look at like the speed of the cars driving on the street, probably not the best idea. The proposed site would be dedicated to independent deliveristas who work for private companies like Uber Eats or Grubhub. I mean, they got to go somewhere, right? Well, like it makes a lot of sense because you got to like it's a major intersection. There are lots of different directions where they need to go from here. Like that just makes sense to me to give them a place where they can do that. Tonight, the mayor's office said in a statement, quote, we're proud to be part of a creative first of its kind effort to support deliveristas and use our public spaces in a new way. We are committed to hearing community concerns and will consider all feedback as we move forward. You know, they work so hard and I think that makes a lot of sense. This is a really bad intersection, actually, and to put a bike right in the island in the middle, a bike, uh, you know, station, that's that's not a good idea. This is that abandoned newsstand here on Broadway between West 71st and 72nd Street. Most residents here say it's just not an ideal spot and they are urging the mayor's office to consider an alternate location. A vote from the full community board is expected in the coming weeks. On the Upper West Side, Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.